are very clear that human activities are the primary cause of observed climate warming trend. The new record high levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere mean that we are already facing the increasingly severe impacts of climate change. The threats are complex and diverse, from killer heat waves, fires and floods, to widespread famines and migration on a truly immense scale. In a world where you have heat waves across the west coast North America, you have massive floods in Germany, you have devastating wildfires of continental scale in Australia, there is no escaping. There is impact on all ecosystems and communities. Everyone will be impacted by climate change. Natural disasters, like everything else in nature, do not respect geopolitical boundaries. Everything in the world is interconnected. Emissions within any one country can affect human and ecosystem health in many other countries. And that is why it has been recognized that we must address the climate warming challenge on the global scale. Governments have debated how to address climate change since 1980s. These negotiations have produced several important agreements, and the most famous of them are the Kyoto Protocol and the Paris Agreement. In order for us to keep the slightest chance to keep the 1.5 degree rise in temperature, we really got to see a dramatic cut in emissions very, very soon. Nearly three quarters of total greenhouse gas emissions come from energy. But that can be further subdivided into energy usage in buildings and industrial processes and transportation. Because energy is the biggest source of emissions, energy transition from fossil fuels and electrification across every sector of the economy will be prerequisite for the success. Zero carbon power generation will be the core of the world's economy. And every country in the world needs to answer the basic question, where are we going to get clean electricity? Because this will be the basis for the decarbonized economy of the future. This program outlines possible pathways to a more sustainable future where we can and we should move away from burning harmful fossil fuels and transition to renewable energy, sustainable fuels and low carbon economy. This is called energy transition and decarbonization. A few months ago, we had a huge momentum where many countries and companies declared their commitments to get on the path to net zero by 2050 in line with the goals of the Paris Agreement. It is very important that we are not losing this momentum. And our program will give you knowledge and confidence to contribute to this important goal of becoming carbon neutral. Given the importance of this subject, I believe that we all must be educated on why and how we should decarbonize our economy, why we need to shift away from fossil fuels to more sustainable sources of energy, and what role international organizations, governments, corporates, financial institutions, and each of us can play in this process. Mm -hmm.